it's Rachel here from Bush Edge Homesteading Australia. Yesterday I made some vanilla and blackberry jam and I was just about to pull the rings off my jars and I thought rather than doing that I might just stop for a second and have a chat to you guys about rings and jars and the importance of actually pulling the rings off during canning. Now when you're new sometimes that's a bit of a question that people have is you know whether these rings on your jars should be left on or, or taken off when you're doing your storage and it's a resounding yes that you should always take these rings off when you're going to store your jars now there's a couple of reasons that you do that the the first one is so that you don't get what's called a false seal so with these jars you, you basically have this ring that goes on and it holds down this lid while you're doing the processing. And, and that's the case whether you're doing a water bath or a steam or a pressure canning recipe. And these rings hold down this lid whilst it's doing the processing. The problem with false seals is that if you leave this ring on and you pop this jar in the cupboard, what can happen is you can actually have the lid sometimes release. And if you've got this ring on, it can then kind of reattach and stick again. Um, and sometimes you might not actually notice that the lid has released and then you go and use your food and um, it can actually be spoiled. And I've had two occurrences since I've started canning and you know, I've been doing that for quite a few years now, but in the time that I have been doing it, I've had two occasions where I've had false seals where the lid has actually lifted off. But because I haven't stored with these rings, I was able to see very quickly that that was actually loose, even though it had kind of stuck down a little bit on the second one that I'd had, which was a fig jam. Um, but as soon as then I took it off completely, I could see that there was actually the spoilage inside. But you've got to remember that you don't always have visible signs of spoilage. So if you've had one of those releases and then a false seal, it could be that the food's spoiled and then you go to eat it and it could actually be pretty nasty. So that's the first reason that I don't store with these rings. Now, the second reason is that it can actually cause rust. So sometimes what happens is you get a bit of a buildup of moisture on the underside of your ring. And if you get that buildup of moisture and that's still attached to your jar, you can then get a bit of rust occurring on your lids as well. And that can also contribute to things becoming unsealed, particularly if you are storing your jars over a longer period of time. So if you want to avoid that moisture buildup and potential rust and losses, then it's again a good idea to take these rings off. So I'm going to take all of these off now and then I'm going to show you how I mark them up. So a good idea when you are working with jars is to always have a good handle on the age of them. And at the start, it might seem like a sensible thing that you'd have it just kind of in mind when you jarred things up, but let's just say canning can become a bit addictive and you can end up with a lot of jars and lose track of what's what. And with canning, you want to be using your products. Like I know some people, they do canning because they want to have long-term food storage on shelves, but for me, we do this so that we can preserve the harvest and enjoy good, clean food for our family, knowing exactly what's in it. So, so for us, we want to ensure that we're eating it at the best quality as well. And that means knowing how old things are and being able to rotate the foods. So all I'm going to do here is just kind of note on here when I have preserved this and also what it is. 23, my goodness, already. So this one here is a blackberry and vanilla jam. Now again, it's a good idea to write what things are because you may think you can look at this and know exactly what it is, but sometimes when you've got a lot of similar products on your shelf, you can actually lose track of what product is what. So this is very clearly now identifiable as what it is and I know exactly what I'm opening when I go to use it for the family. So from here, all I do is kind of store it in my kitchen. I have a bit of a shelf area on the bottom shelves where I keep a lot of my jars. It's a bit of a cooler and drier spot, and that's why I kind of use that area there. Hopefully this video answered any questions you had on canning rings and why we take them off our jars for storage. Thanks for joining, and catch you later.